Hello, just a few basics on the semi-western uh, front side uh, backhand. Um, firstly, just about the slice. Um, it's possible to do a slice by lifting the, the rear edge upwards in um, anti-clockwise on the on this grip which is um, which is different from other grips um, if you're using a continental it's easier sometimes just to go straight down or to put kind of side spin on it you can do that too on the semi-western grip where you just go straight down or side spin but another way is just to lift the top of edge and um, from the re re rebound of the ball, uh, it will put a uh, backspin on it. And from the angle of the handle. So it's just um, a bit unique. So um, with uh, Eastern uh, front side backhand, you can do the same technique, but you're not rotating it quite as much, you're only rotating it um, for 45 degrees forward. And faster, uh, the ball goes a bit lower and faster with that technique on the eastern one. I'll just do a few more demonstrations on the semi western front side. Think of like a dry volley slice. Ordinarily, that motion would be more like flat or topspin, but as I was saying, just because it's um, a, a, an extreme grip, it actually puts backspin on it sometimes when you with the en energy of the incoming ball. Obviously, you can you can do put slice on it in different ways as well. Just by going straight down. Or down and across for a side spin. Another variable that's important with this grip um, is the how, how wide the grip is. So if you hold your fingers very tightly together, very compact grip, um, the motion is a bit more jerky, it's a bit more elastic. So um, And if you have spread, uh, a very wide, uh, spread out grip, with your fingers um, very far apart from each other, um, it's it, you can hit just as fast, but the movement is um, 
It's more smooth, more continuous, but you, you can hear it just as fast. So, I spread our fingers to be good for practicing topspin as well. It doesn't affect the technique, it, it's just, um, it just has a different rhythm the, depending on the, the grip width. Um, you can also use the grip on the grip width for other uh, grips positions as well like continental, um, for a compact narrow grip or a wider spread out grip. But. Um, because of the extreme grip position for semi-western, it's far more no, 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 noticeable where you can... Um, where it does have a, um, a, a visible effect on the, on the swing, so it's more prominent. Wide grip, and the narrow grip, the back grip. Quickly, I'll just do it on Continental. It's, it's far more similar, irrespective of the grip width on other grips. So, Continental is just a, a tight grip. And on a loose grip. difference is a bit more subtle on, on the other ones. Um, if you really want to exaggerate a, a spread out grip for the front side semi-western is you can just put your uh, index finger straight up uh, on the racket like so and um, that would be a bit unstable for to hit the ball but just for practice to emphasize the swing. Put your finger straight, it's easier to do kind of a windshield wiper type of motion. But um, the hand wouldn't be strong enough in, in match to have this, this such, a, such a spread out grip. ball even though I'm hitting it so slowly. Um, thank you, that's all.